Hey guys, Zal here, and the whole purpose of this channel is to kind of give insight onto what it's like to be a chemistry major, my experience, and things I've learned, and so I think that also includes stuff that's happened to me post-graduation. So today I wanted to make a post-chem major graduation update video now that it's been a few months since I've actually graduated from the chemistry major, and I want to give you guys kind of my look into what that's like and what the actual life of a chem major doing the job hunt etc is like because I chose not to go to grad school right after college that's still up in the air if grad school will be a thing in a couple of years I've made some videos about it talked about it in a lot of other videos but I kind of want to give you my update on where I'm at what the job hunt was like and let's just hop right into it so first things first, I didn't actually apply to jobs while I was still in school, which I know is certainly recommended, and I may have procrastinated that a bit, but if you are looking to hop into a job right after school, the job search does take many months, and it's a lot of hit or miss, and there will be a lot of rejections. From me, what I've heard a lot of is people applying to jobs come like the winter before they graduate. What I did was a bit different. I didn't apply or start applying to jobs while I was still in school because I planned to actually travel for the whole summer after I graduated. And I talked to a lot of professors about this. And if you're kind of into travel and seeing the world, it seems the consensus is this is a great idea and I can attest to it. I went all around Europe, all around the US on a big road trip and flight on two separate trips. Right after I graduated school, I spent my summer doing that, and I had talked to a lot of professors beforehand on their perspectives on it. I knew some professors who did similar things, and I knew some professors who didn't, and the consensus between a lot of the adults, adults I talked to was that this was a great idea because once you actually get into the workforce or go to grad school, it's so much harder to find the time to do that because you're going to be busy, and you're not going to really have that bulk of time, that interim period with a lot of off days on it to be able to do that. And I had a similar experience. I learned a lot and I saw a lot of things I wanted to see and really would have regret not seeing and doing. So I really enjoyed spending my summer after graduation traveling. So if you have like the money saved up or time to do it, I definitely recommend. I had worked an on-campus job while I was in school and I would saved up a bit of money, used some credit card points to manage to get flights to Europe, and it was a great experience. So if you aren't super sure about like going to grad school or maybe you have the summer before grad school free or you don't have a job lined up, I definitely recommend taking a summer to yourself, kind of figuring things out, go travel, do a bunch of other things, because you're not going to have that big block of time for a long while for the rest of your life. And I talked to a lot of professors and they kind of agreed with that. They had all wished they had done it if they haven't, or they said it was like a super valuable experience for them when they did it. And that's kind of what made me take the go ahead and, you know, go just travel and have that summer for me because if you spent four years in school you definitely deserve it and it was like a very much needed break after four years of a chemistry major so I definitely recommend going and traveling like that. Um, and so what happened afterwards is I basically finished up my traveling in August and started my job hunt in September so it has now been a month and a half. I do not have any jobs lined up. I have done interviews, I have applied to jobs, and I just want to give you more experience on what I've encountered in the chemistry job hunt. And the first one is there are lots of jobs if you're willing to travel and like relocate for where that job is. Um, it depends because there are a lot of areas that some people might not want to be in that will offer a lot of jobs. I know stuff like the oil and gas industry will have a lot of chemistry jobs, but you might not want to work in those areas or those industries. And there's a lot of things that just narrow down the job hunt, and you have to find what works for you. And the big thing is when you're going into an entry-level chemistry job hunt, there is very little that's going to differentiate you from a lot of the other job candidates. So a lot of it is doing like 
a lot of job applications until you can finally get into the interview because for a lot of people like getting into the interview and being able to talk with people gets the ball rolling and you're just going to have to send in a lot of applications. There are a lot of bright young graduates with great resumes who have just gotten out of college and are looking for jobs in the same sort of field and before you have experience you just got to send a lot of quality job applications out and that's what I've been doing sending out as many job applications as you have and for me a big thing is I'm not really regulating myself by industry I'm applying to biotech materials etc and even things outside of the chemistry industry if you're interested in like a broad array of STEM topics there are a whole ton of jobs that you can apply to that aren't just like chemist but you can apply to a bunch of other jobs that just need scientists or consultants or people to analyze data who have a STEM background and for me I've been applying to all sorts of jobs because I'm interested in all sorts of areas and so my life now has basically been living at home doing all I can to just send out resumes to a lot of application areas and just explore the industry, explore what I want, because for your first job, you're not necessarily going to be getting your dream job at first. You need to build up experience to do that. And so I've just been trying to send out applications in the STEM fields to build up experience finding those jobs. But I also wanted to like point out that I graduated with my chem degree. I graduated from a pretty decent school in chemistry. And even for me, I've been in the job search for a month and a half now sending out applications and stuff isn't immediate so if you're also in the job search I'm kind of with you on that you know we're living this life together there's nothing to worry about sometimes things like those take time which is why if you are looking to get into a job immediately after you graduate I do recommend applying to jobs while you're still in school and so I just wanted to give that update on what it's like in the chem job search. You're going to be sending out a lot of applications. It's not going to be a job immediately, especially, um, I don't know when you're watching this video, but in the end of 2022, there are some job market mishaps that might influence your hiring process in the U.S., but with that, hopefully I'm going to keep continue applying to jobs. I will give more updates on like what my job application process is like if you guys are into that but I just wanted to give you guys the update post graduation I basically traveled the summer and have now been applying to jobs uh, it's pretty boring you're going to be sending out the same resumes doing a lot of applications finding what you like but if you persevere there is hopefully a light at the end of the tunnel and you know once I move further on into this process I can give you more updates on what it's actually like graduating moving into the real world as a chemistry major and I hope this video was insightful or helpful. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. Make sure to subscribe, like the video. I'll try and get back to you in the comments and I will see you guys next time.